Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Midweek Prayer Watch. Once again, nagpapasalamat tayo sa Panginoon, mga kapatid, sa grace po niya na tayo pong muli ay magkaroon na opportunity po na ito na tayo po ay makapagsama-sama online at tayo po ay makadulog po sa Panginoon. Brethren, in Psalm number 42, it says in verses 9 and following, I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As a shattering of my bones, my adversaries revile me while they say to me all day long, Where is your God? Have you ever felt sometimes that we don't know where God is? Ano po? We don't know where God is. And we need to turn back to the word of the Lord. We need to turn back to the truth that God is always with us. And in fact, Christ is in us. That is why in verse 11 it says, Why are you in despair, O my soul? And why have you become disturbed within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise Him, the help of my countenance and my God. We ought not to listen to how we feel. We ought not to listen to our own thoughts, our own fears, and even doubts. But instead, we need to speak to our own hearts and tell ourselves that we are to hope in God for He is the help of our countenance and because He is our God. So brothers and sisters, before we hear the word of the Lord, let us hope in God, let us praise His name and remember His promises to us that if God is for us, who can be against us? Umawit po tayo sa Panginoon. you faith 
Our loving Heavenly Father, we bless you and we praise your name. As that song says, O Lord God, your word is everlasting. And Lord God, we will always put our hope and our trust, O Lord God, in you. Salamat po, Panginoon, because in our weakness, Father God, we are strong, O Lord, because it drives us, O Lord, to rely on your power. It drives us, O Lord, to put our whole reliance and our whole hope in you, O God. Father, I pray, O Lord, that anyone who is listening, viewing this message, joining us tonight here at our prayer watch, O Lord God, will indeed find hope, O God, and great encouragement, Lord, from your word. Father in heaven, remove the despair, O Lord, the discouragement. Father God, even those who are weary and burned out, O Lord, remove these from our hearts and instead renew us, Lord, in your word, renew us in your promises. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. Araw-araw kami po ay, Lord, we, we are face-to-face with our own weaknesses. But your grace, Lord, is sufficient, O Lord, for all our needs. Salamat po, Panginoon. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. In Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16, the Bible tells us, For a righteous man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumble in time of calamity. Brothers and sisters, crisis and calamity strike everybody. Ano po? Crisis and calamity strike all people, both the righteous and the wicked. Nobody is exempted from discouragements. Nobody is exempted from the sufferings of this world. Pero meron pong napakalaking kaibahan ang reaction, ang response ng yaon po na, na kay Kristo Jesus, ang yaon po na lumalakad ng meron pong relationship sa atin pong Panginoong Jesus versus those who do not have the Lord in their hearts. That is why in Proverbs it says that the wicked stumble when calamity comes. Ang ibig sabihin po noon, the wicked does not have the resources to be able to stand under great pressure. All right? Whereas the righteous, the man who has faith in God, he also experiences calamity. He also experiences crisis, but he keeps rising again every time. Amen po? He keeps rising again every time kahit po siya nakaka-experience ng calamity sa kanyang pong buhay. And this is what we will look into tonight and next Wednesday from our series on the Faith Adventures of Daniel. Last Wednesday po, if you were if you joined us, it was the test of Daniel and his friends whether to compromise or not when tempted to choose a secure career in the king's service rather than eating what was prohibited in the Mosaic Law. So Daniel had and his friends had that adventure of faith for the first time as teenage exiles, teenager exiles in uh, Babylon from Judah. They were, they were tested if they would compromise their faith in the living God of Israel versus the culture, the pagan culture of Babylon. Kung di nyo pa po napakinggan ang message po na yon, please do so. We encourage you to watch that video on YouTube and Facebook. The title of that message is Living Out Your Faith in an Unbelieving World. At ngayon pong gabi mga kapatid, titingnan po natin the test of unpleasant news that Daniel and his friends would be put to death because of the foolishness and the deceptiveness of Nebuchadnezzar's wise men. Ano po ang kanila pong response? Ano po when they heard these, this unpleasant news that they are going to be slain, they're going to be put to death because they were lumped together with the evil and wicked advisors of Nebuchadnezzar. So let us read Daniel chapter 2. It says, Now in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar had dreams, and his spirit was troubled, and his sleep left him. 
Then the king gave orders to call in the magicians, the conjurers, the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans to tell the king his dreams. So they came in and stood before the king. The king said to them, I had a dream and my spirit is anxious to understand the dream. Then the Chaldeans spoke to the king in Aramaic, O king, live forever. Tell the dream to your servants and we will declare the interpretation. The king replied to the Chaldeans, The command for me is firm. If you do not make known to me the dream and its interpretation, you will be torn limb from limb and your houses will be made a rubbish heap. But if you declare the dream and its interpretation, you will receive from me gifts and a reward and great honor. Therefore, declare to me the dream and its interpretation. Nebuchadnezzar, while appearing quite generous and acting favorably to the Jewish exiles like Daniel and his friends, was not a tyrant for nothing. All right? He was not a tyrant, a despot for nothing. As authoritarian rulers usually are, they are whimsical. Ang ibig sabihin po noon, they have unpredictable moods. All right? And here was a situation where Nebuchadnezzar displayed these qualities. Nebuchadnezzar had this dream that kept recurring every time he slept. He was bothered by the dream because apparently ito pong panaginip po na ito had something to do with his kingdom and the future of his reign. He knew that this was not just one of those dreams that you get at night uh, when you drink too much coffee, all right? It was not a usual dream because in the first place, this was a dream that was sent by God to this pagan king, Nebuchadnezzar. So the king demands from all the wise men of Babylon a hard thing. Ano po yung kanyang dinamad sa kanila? They need to first declare to the king what he dreamt and then interpret it. All right? They need to first declare to the king what he dreamt and then interpret it. So, mabibisto po sila kung niloloko po nila yung hari. All right? Because kailangan ipaalam muna po nila kung ano po yung pong, yun pong panaginip na yun. And I don't think Nebuchadnezzar forgot the dream. I think he really wanted this to be a test to the genuineness of the wisdom and the advice of the advisors of the wise men of Babylon. In this way, the king would know if these wise men were telling the truth or if they were just deceiving him. Now, bakit po kaya nagbago ng style yun pong hari? Why did the king suddenly have a change of style? Aside from the significance of the dream, remember that in chapter 1, it says there in verse 20, that for every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king consulted Daniel and his friends, all right, his Jewish exiles from Judah, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and conjurers who were who were all who were in all his realm. So these so-called wise men of the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, sila po ay na benchmark against Daniel and his friends. And of course, that was the expected thing. Mabe benchmark talaga sila. Bakit po? Because the god whom Daniel worships is the true and only source of wisdom and intelligence. All right? Let's proceed now to Daniel 2 verse 10. The Chaldeans answered the king and said, There is not a man on earth who could declare the matter for the king. Inasmuch as no great king or ruler has ever asked anything like this of any magician, conjurer, or Chaldean. Moreover, the thing which the king demands is difficult and there is no one else who could declare it to the king except God, whose dwelling place is not with mortal flesh? Because of this, the king became indignant and very furious and gave orders to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. By their own admission, the Babylonian magicians, uh, conjurers, all right, the so-called wise men, they confessed that they were not wise after all. All right, they were not wise after all. Okay, so they have just been deceiving the king about their so called powers. All right, their so called wisdom. So the result was that the king became 
indignant and very furious. Alright? So, nabisto niya po itong mga magicians na ito, itong mga conjurers po na ito na sila po ay nagpapanggap lamang. Alright? Sila po ay binobola lang nila yung hari, nagpapanggap lamang sila because they couldn't tell the dream. Alright? So, they were not really wise after all. To the point that the, the, at Nebuchadnezzar gave orders, no, he was so angry to the point that he gave the orders to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. But do you remember the saying that man's extremity is God's opportunity? Bakit po? Kung kailan ka walang magagawa, tsaka naman po mapapakita ng Diyos o madidisplay po ng Panginoong Diyos ang kanyang kapangyarihan. Alright? Because ito pong order na ito ng king, ang ibig sabihin po nito, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the three other friends of Daniel, would also be put to death. Alright? Now, this is the reason why Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 that he takes pleasure in his weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and troubles that he suffers for Christ. For when he is weak, then he is strong because Christ's power is perfected in weakness. Alright? Man's extremity is God's opportunity. Especially po, mga kapatid, para po sa atin, that we carry the name of the Lord. That we are ambassadors of the Lord. And it means that in an extreme situation, it's an important time so that the Lord will be able to display that only He is wise, only He is powerful. Amen? Daniel 2 verse 13 says, So the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. And they looked for Daniel and his friends to kill them. Alright? And they looked for Daniel and his friends to kill them. So, hindi sila exempted si Daniel at ng kanyang mga kaibigan from being executed by the king's orders. Alright? Because of his extreme. No? He was angry. No? He got angry by these, uh, because of these wise men. Now, brethren, what is the godly man's response to crisis? Alright? What is the godly man's response to crisis? Ano po ang nagiging response po natin kapag tayo po ay nakaka-encounter mga kapatid ng crisis or ng isang unexpected news no? na tulad po nitong kina Daniel, they were lumped together with all these wicked advisors and though they were not doing anything wrong they were innocent yet they were yet they were considered part of those who would be executed according to the king and of course it was a very very undeserved suffering on the part of Daniel and his friends brethren a godly man will remain Come and will act in wisdom. Ulitin po natin. The godly man's response to crisis is that a godly person will remain calm and will act in wisdom. Alright? Let's read Daniel 2 verse 14. Then Daniel replied with discretion and discernment to Ariok, the captain of the king's bodyguard, who had gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. It says here that Daniel replied with discretion and discernment. In the New International Version translation, this is what it says. Daniel spoke to him with wisdom and tact. You know, brethren, it is so important how we react and respond to crisis, to situations, because it will later on determine how we will behave and what decisions we will do, all right? And of course, however we will react will determine either the success or the failure of the situation that we are faced with, no? So, napakahalaga po na maging okay, yung atin pong reaction, yung atin pong response pag po merong crisis tayo po na hinaharap. It can be a crisis at work, 
or it can be a crisis inside your family, all right? Maybe you are facing now a crisis when it comes to, to your children. Maybe it's a crisis when it comes to the health issues of our loved ones. No, Whatever that may be, brethren, the godly response is to stay calm, all right? It is to stay calm and to act in wisdom. When the Bible says that Daniel spoke with wisdom and tact or discretion and discernment, it means that Daniel spoke with Arioch in a careful and in a guarded way so as to know what was happening, all right? So apparently, hindi nila alam kung ano nangyayari dun sa palace. So as to know what was happening in such a way that Arioch, the captain, will not get mad, okay? So yun po yung... Yung purpose no wisdom and tact in such a way na, na hindi magagalit si Ariok because he was already there to kill Daniel and his friends, alright? In other words, how do we act with wisdom and tact in such a way that we do not rob someone the wrong way so that they get irritated? And I think this is a very, very good um, wisdom not just in crisis situations, but when we are faced with difficult people as well. Daniel behaved with discretion and discernment. He was discerning or tactful in his manner in which he spoke with Arioch. The word tact refers to the ability to understand relationships and situations. Tact is a keen sense of what to say or do to avoid giving offense and is the skill in dealing with difficult or delicate situations. Thus, the word denotes that Daniel understood the situation he was in so that he could take the best practical action under the circumstances. Amen? So Daniel was discerning, he was prudent, and he had a correct insight of the situation. Kaya hindi po siya kaagad-agad nagpapanik. He had wisdom, he had an insightful understanding of what was going on. In Daniel chapter 2, verse 15, it says, He said to Arioch, the king's commander, For what reason is the decree from the king so urgent? Then Arioch informed Daniel about the matter. So Daniel went in and requested of the king that he would give him time in order that he might declare the interpretation to the king. Brethren, it says in Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1, that a gentle answer turns away wrath. All right? That a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. I think we talked about gentleness and patience last, uh, last year when we were dealing with the qualities of unity. Kung gusto po natin magkagulo, wag po tayong maging gentle. Let's be harsh in our words. Uminit po tayo ng, uminit po ang ating ulo, magkaroon tayo ng outbursts of anger. Ano po? At wala po itong ma-accomplish. Alright? Wala po itong masasettle. Okay? Wala po itong maaayos. It is a gentle answer that turns away wrath. So, if we want things to get fixed, if we want things to get settled, alright, we need to have the right spirit. We need to be Mild-mannered, it doesn't mean that we will not be firm, we will not be truthful, but we, we need to have that calmness, that gentleness when we approach difficult or crisis situations. Daniel's wisdom and tact allowed him an opportunity to personally make a request of the king to be given time. God was making all things favorable to Daniel. Now, if you notice if we do our part, all right, meaning we are uh, gentle in our manner of dealing with difficult people, in dealing with difficult situations, instead of of uh, having an outburst of anger or reacting in a sinful way, there is the Lord who will make all things favorable to us, no? just as he has done to Daniel. God was making all things favorable to Daniel and his friends because not only was he not killed, not only was he allowed to go to the king, but the king also yielded to Daniel's request for extra time. Okay? So, pinagbigyan po siya nung hari ni Nebuchadnezzar to be given extra time. 
Brethren, there is much to learn from Daniel about wisdom when we hear unpleasant news. Okay? There is much to learn from Daniel about wisdom when we hear unpleasant news. Like Daniel, we can learn how to stay cool. Alright? We have to learn to stay cool and rely on God's wisdom to deal with even the worst situation. In James chapter 3, verse 17, But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, reasonable, full of mercy and good fruits, unwavering, and it says, without hypocrisy. Are you in a situation right now, brethren, wherein the right thing to do first and foremost is to stay calm? Wag kang magpanik. Oh, all right. Wag kang magpanik. Stay calm and act in the wisdom of the Lord that the Holy Spirit provides generously without reproach. The secret to remaining calm in any situation is to not let our faith in God's ability to be superseded by any situation. Let me say that again. The secret to remaining calm in any situation is to not let our faith in God's ability to be superseded by any kind of situation. There is no situation that is too much for God's power to turn around. Amen po? Wala pong sitwasyon, circumstance, or crisis na masyadong mabigat ba para ikutin ito ng Panginoon? Mga kapatid, Daniel was calm because he knew that nothing was impossible with God. And that this situation will set the stage for the Lord to exalt His name because no one but the Lord is the revealer of dreams and who can foretell the future. So, hindi po uh, kalmado si Daniel hindi po siya na agitate or na worry nung sitwasyon pong ito kasi naiintindihan po niya that this situation will set the stage for the Lord to display who He is, that He's the God of wisdom. To remain calm in any situation, put your faith in God who is greater and bigger, amen po, than any situation that we might encounter. God is the greatest and it is always about the Lord. Amen po? God is the greatest and it's always about the Lord. As Daniel will later on declare as he blesses God, it says in Daniel 2 verse 20, Daniel said, Let the name of God be blessed forever and ever, for wisdom and power belong to him. It is he who changes the times and the epochs. He removes kings and establishes kings. He gives wisdom to wise men and knowledge to men of understanding. It is He who reveals the profound and hidden things. He knows what is in the darkness and the light dwells with Him. The second godly man's response to crisis is prayer and we will Look at this next Wednesday. But I hope and pray that this first response to crisis, godly man's response to crisis, which is to stay calm, to stay cool, and act in the wisdom of God, has taught us certain things. Bago po tayo manalangin, tayo po ay umawit ng magandang pagsamba po sa atin pong Panginoon.
Tayo po ngayon ay dadako na po sa atin pong prayer time. First of all, nice ko pong i-share po sa inyo ang isa pong answered prayer mula po sa atin pong kapatiran. If you remember, uh, I think a few weeks ago or two weeks ago, pinag-pray po natin si Sister Carol at ang kanya pong 87-year-old na father na nag uh, rush sa hospital all right, dahil po sa COVID and other medical conditions. No? At alam niyo po mga kapatid, it's a miracle because uh, despite that severe COVID, the father of Sister Carol is already out of the hospital last week. All right, Pinagaling po siya mga kapatid ng Panginoon. So that's another miracle of the Lord. And it is a again a testimony that God hears and answers prayers and at the same time a testimony that only the Lord is the one who truly holds our life. Amen po at may plano po po ang Panginoon sa father at sa family po ni La Sister Carol. Alam niyo po, their hospital bills also exceeded 1 million pesos. But the Lord was so gracious to have provided for everything. So we give the Lord glory and praise and we rejoice with our uh, brethren ano po, sa, sa goodness po ng Panginoon na ito sa kanila. Ang mga prayer concerns po natin ngayong gabi po, mga kapatid, Ang uh, face-to-face gathering po ng Bayambang this coming Sunday ay tuloy na po muli. Uh, pangalawa, meron po tayong mga ipagpipray ng mga kapatira na may mga sakit. Ang uh, daughter ni Sister Andrea ay uh, nagbabamit since last night ano po, ng uh, maraming beses at ngayon po ay nilalagnat po na. So let's hope and pray na ito po ay hindi covid at hindi rin po ito uh, serious. No? Let's pray for the healing of Tanya. Ang mother po ni Sister Maan Ordonez from Singapore ay meron po ngayong shingles. All right. So uh, sa pagkakaalam ko po na ang sakit po nito eh, no? Mahapdi po itong shingles at pagpray po natin again ang uh, quick healing ng Panginoon sa mother po ni Sister Maan. Let's also pray for the mother of Sister Dalen or Kia, all right? Uh, namamaga po yung paanong mother ni Sister Dalen at nahihirapan na po siyang huminga, all right? So, lagi pong naka-oxygen yun pong kanyang mom at meron din po siyang kidney problem. So, yung medication ay nag-cause rin po ng something sa kanyang katawan, ano? So, pag-pray po natin. At higit sa lahat, uh, di pa po saved yung mother ni Sister Dalen. So, pag-pray po natin na bigyan po ng Panginoon si Sister Dalen ng uh, chance na makausap po ang kanyang mother tungkol po sa kanyang salvation at tungkol po sa gospel. Amen po. So, let's also commit to the Lord, of course, our church, gospel of grace. Let's also keep praying for our brethren from Living Word, Cebu. Patuloy po natin silang i-uphold sa pananalangin. Uh, hindi pa po sila nakakapag-resume ng service nila sa main church. But let's continue to uphold them in this current ano po, trial, no? this current situation that they're going through there in Visayas. And of course, let's continue to pray for our nation. Tayo pong lahat, mga kapatid, ay lumapit po sa atin pong Panginoon sa oras na to. Mahal naming Panginoon at Ama na nasa langit, maraming marami pong salamat, Lord, sa biyaya ninyo ngayong gabi, Panginoon. O God, na kami po ay makapanalangin, makalapit sa inyo, Lord, ng buong puso at ng meron pong assurance, Lord God, that you hear our prayers and because you hear our prayers, Lord, we know, Father in heaven, that we will obtain answers from you, Lord God, if we ask according to your will, Lord, according to the guidance of the blessed Holy Spirit. Father God, we take this time, Lord, to praise you, to lift your holy name, Lord. Nagpapasalamat po kami, Father in heaven, sa inyo pong mga salita na narinig namin ngayon pong gabi pong ito. At nagpapasalamat kami, Panginoon, sapagkat even though we, Lord, encounter unpleasant news, crisis, O Lord God, hardships, Lord God, etc. And yet, O Lord, we can respond calmly to the situation and act in wisdom. 
Lord, pinapanalangin po namin kung meron po kaming mga kapatira na sa oras na ito, Panginoon. We are tempted to, Lord, to react negatively to a situation. We are tempted, O Lord God, to panic. We are tempted perhaps, O Lord, to say, Lord, the wrong words, O God, to say hurtful things. We are tempted, O Lord, O God, to... Lord, not to to act unbecomingly in a way that does not honor your name. Father in heaven, patawarin niyo po kami and help us, O Lord, to put our trust in you, to put our faith, O Lord God, in you, O Lord, and in you alone. Father in heaven, that there is no situation that is too hard for you to turn around and glorify your holy name. Salamat po, Panginoon. And anuman po, Panginoon, ang, ang aming pong mga nararanasang crisis, Lord, na sudden, unexpected, dalangin namin, Panginoon, ang grace ninyo na kami po'y makapag-respond, O Lord, in a way, O Lord God, that pleases your name, that glorifies you, O God, and with wisdom that comes from the Holy Spirit. Help us to be filled with faith in our hearts, And trust that nothing is too hard for you, O Lord. Hallelujah! Purihin kayo, O Jesus. Salamat po, Panginoon. Dinadakila po namin ang inyong banal na pangalan, O God. Great are you, Lord, and you are greatly to be praised. Salamat po, Panginoon. Pag-pray muna po natin, mga kapatid, yung pong mga kapatira nating may mga sakit at ang kanilang mga loved ones. Father God, at this time, we commit to you, Lord, the daughter of Sister Andrea, Tanya. O Lord, who has been vomiting and who now has a fever. Father God, we pray, Lord Jesus, that this is not serious and that she will be healed, O Lord. Father in heaven, in your grace and in your mercy, dalangin namin, Lord, na... Pagalingin niyo po, Lord, ang daughter po nila, Sister Andrea at nila Brother Carl. Panginoon, patuloy niyo po silang isustain at i-uphold, O Lord, sa kanilang situation, O Lord, sa kanilang family life na sila po, Panginoon, ay patuloy po ninyong tuturuan, Panginoon, O God, na lumalim pa po sa inyo sa kanilang trust, lumalim pa po sila, Panginoon, sa kanilang, Lord, pag-ibig at pagsunod po sa inyo. Marami pong salamat, Lord. We thank you and praise you for the life of Carl, Andrea, and even Tanya, Lord, your daughter. Salamat po, Lord. We know that you've heard our prayers and you will help them, Lord God. Salamat po, Panginoon. We commit to you, Lord God, the mother of Sister Maan, Panginoon, si Lord, si ang mother po niya na si Julieta, Panginoon. Dinadalangin namin, O oh Lord, ang inyong pong pagpapagaling sa kanya pong shingles, Father God. Lord, we pray for your grace, Lord, that you will, O oh Lord, calm her fears and comfort her and put her heart in perfect peace. O oh Lord, uh, Lord, we know how, Lord God, how discomforting, O oh Lord God, Panginoon, uh, shingles could be, Panginoon, sa mga yaon na, Lord, nakaranas na po nito or naka... Lord, naka mga kilala namin, naka-experience na ito, Panginoon. We pray, Father in heaven, na uh, tulungan niyo po ang mom ni Sister Maan, Panginoon. O oh Lord, na siya po ay, Lord, mabilis na gumaling from her shingles. At uh, hindi po ito mag We pray for your healing touch upon the mother of Sister Maan. Thank you so much, Father God. Lord, tinataas din po namin ang mother ni Sister Dalen. Oh Lord, Father God, Lord, ang kanya pong current situation, Lord, sa kanyang health, Father in heaven, ang kanyang pamamaga ng kanyang paa, Lord, at ang kanya pong, Lord, difficulty sa paghinga, Panginoon. Oh Lord, dinadalangin namin, Lord, na tulungan niyo po ang mom ni Sister Dalen. Oh Lord, Hiniling namin, O Lord God, na matreat po siya ng maayos at bigyan niyo po siya ng lakas, Panginoon, O Lord, na maka-recover. Lord, dalangin namin ng, Lord, ang grace ninyo, Lord God, kay Sister Dalin din, Panginoon. O Lord, bigyan niyo po siya ng lakas, bigyan niyo po siya ng peace, ng strength sa kanyang puso, sa mga sandaling ito, Lord, sa kanya pong pag, Lord, sa pag-aasikaso niya po sa kanyang mother, Panginoon. 
Lord, dinudulog din po namin sa inyo, O Jesus. O God, ang salvation po ng mom ni Sister Dalen. Dilangin namin, Lord, na ihanda niyo po siya na tumanggap kay Kristo. Ihanda niyo po siya, Lord God, na... Lord, na tumanggap sa kaligtasan ng aming Panginoong Jesus. Siya po'y kumilala sa Panginoon at siya po'y magkaroon, Lord, ng Lord ng spiritual birth, O Lord. Hiniling namin, Lord, na pagkalooban niyo po ng favorable opportunity si Sister Dalen upang ma-share niya, Lord, ang tungkol sa kanyang faith at tungkol po, Lord, sa gospel ng Panginoong Jesus. Dalangin namin, Lord, na Maging open ang heart ng mom ni Sister Dalen at siya po ay tunay Panginoon na magsuko ng kanya pong puso at tunay na Lord tumanggap kay Kristo Jesus as her personal Lord and Savior. Salamat po Panginoon. Mga kapatid, pag-pray po natin ang prayer concern po nila Brother Leo, ang face-to-face gathering ng GOG Bayambang Lord. Nagpapasalamat kami, O God, na... Lord, tinap inuphold niyo po Lord ang uh, mga kapatiran po namin sa uphold sa bayimbang at sa kamiling Lord God na bagamat sila po Lord ay hindi nakapagdaos ng kanilang on, ng kanilang physical gathering this past Lord this past uh, two months Panginoon ngunit nagpapasalamat at sila ay nagpapatuloy at nananatili po sa inyo Panginoon. And we pray Lord God na sila po ay pagkalooban ninyo Lord ng 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 isang magandang pagtitipon ng pagsamba ngayong darating po na linggong ito o Jesus dalangin namin ang lahat po sila ay makarating sila ay, Lord sila ay ay maging masigla Panginoon sila po ay maging malakas malusog Panginoon at higit sa lahat ang kanilang mga puso Lord God ay maging expectant sa gagawin niyo po at sa mga salita, Lord God, na ipagkakaloob niyo po sa kanila, Father in heaven, through your servant. Salamat po, Panginoon. Lord, manguna kayo sa GOG Bayambang. Manguna kayo sa mga kapatira namin roon. Pangunahan niyo po, Lord, si Pastor Leo. Pangunahan niyo, Lord, sila Sister Mercy at ang aming po mga brethren po roon. Salamat po, Panginoon. Purihin po ang inyong pong banal na pangalan. Ngayon naman po ay pag-pray po natin mga kapatid ang ating pong church. Let's pray for gospel of grace. Father, we thank you for Lord, all the grace Father in heaven, all the grace Lord, the goodness that you shower us with Lord, Father in heaven in the church. Thank you so much, O Lord, for all your gracious answer to our prayers Father God. Lalong-lalo na Lord sa Lord, sa napakagandang ginawa po ninyo nung nakaraang linggo. Salamat, Panginoon, at kayo lamang, Lord, ang tunay na itinataas po namin. Muli po namin pinapanalangin, Lord, ang inyong pong iglesia sa Gospel of Grace. Patuloy namin dinadalangin, O Lord, na kayo lamang, Lord, ang patuloy po na aming pong luluwalhatiin at hahangarin, Lord God, na makilala sa aming pong mga buhay. Dinadalangin namin, Lord, ang bawat kapatiran ay lalo pa pong lumalim sa inyo. Dinadalangin namin, Panginoon, O God, na sa lahat ng aming mga ginagawa, Panginoon, O Lord, ay sasamahan niyo po ang bawat isa. Dalangin namin, Lord, ang presence ninyo, ang mga ujok, promptings, urgings ng iyong banal na spirito, ang paglago ng bawat isa, Panginoon. We pray for the Lord, for the inner man to be strengthened with power according to your glorious riches. We pray, Father in heaven, that all our brethren, O Lord God, will indeed, Lord, continue to, Lord, to deepen and enjoy the relationship, Lord God, with you. Maraming marami pong salamat, Panginoon. And whatever crisis or situations that are challenging that, Lord, our brethren are facing through, Father God, we pray, Lord, that you will help us to mature and respond, O Lord God, with wisdom and with calmness in our hearts by faith. Hallelujah! Salamat po, Panginoon. 
Lord, dalangin din po namin, Panginoon, ang spiritual gifts ng bawat isa, Panginoon, ay i-reveal ninyo. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, O Lord, na kayo po, O God, ang mag-raise up pa po, Panginoon, ng mga servants ninyo at mga workers po ninyo, Lord God, O Lord, na magmi-minister, O Lord, sa kabuan po ng church. Dinadalangin namin, Lord God, ang inyo pong enabling. Dinadalangin po namin, Lord, an obedient heart, a submissive heart, Lord, sa lahat po ng aming mga, sa lahat po ng aming mga kapatiran, Panginoon. Dinadalangin namin, Panginoon, O Lord, ang aming paglago at pagmamature. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, O God, that you will indeed, O Lord God, raise up more prayer warriors. You will raise up more intercessors. You will raise up, O Lord God, Father in heaven, more teachers. Lord God, more shepherds, O Lord, more servants, Father in heaven, Lord, we pray that you will raise up more workers, O Lord, who will do the works of the church, Panginoon, to strengthen the body of Christ and advance, O Lord God, your glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And we pray for the ministry on Sunday. Once again, dinadalangin namin, O Lord God, ang inyo pong, Lord, ang inyo pong anointing at ang maya, ang maya, ang Malaya ninyong pagkilos, Panginoon, sa aming pong lahat. We pray for our workers, our worship team. We pray for our staff, sila Sister Angie, sila KJ, Lord. Tinataas namin sila Brother Sam. Tinataas namin, Lord, ang lahat ng aming pong mga disciples. Lord God, tinataas namin, Lord, ang bawat isa, O God, na tunay nga maging handa kami ngayong darating na linggo, Lord, sa muli pong gawain po ninyo, O Jesus. And we continue to pray, Father God, ang, ang enabling po ninyo sa lahat ng aming mga kapatiran, Lord God. Lord, truly, we just trust you, Lord God, na kayo pong magbe-bless, Panginoon, ng work po ninyo, Panginoon, sa inyo pong ministry, sa inyong church, Lord, sa Gospel of Grace. And Father, we pray, Lord God, na yun pong mga kapatiran po namin na nagdadala ng mga bagong mga Kaibigan, sila po, Lord, ay patuloy po ninyong tulungan sa kanila pong i-enable nyo sila sa kanilang pong pag-follow up at sa kanilang patuloy na pag-abot sa kanila pong mga office mates, sa kanila pong mga kaibigan, sa kanilang mga housemates. And we pray for this new attendees, Lord Jesus. Kilala nyo po sila and we pray, Lord, na sila po, Panginoon, ay tunay na makakilala sa inyo at sila ay Lord, lumalim pa po sa faith at maging tunay na mga disciples ninyo, Panginoon. Thank you, Father in heaven. We pray for the salvation of our loved ones, our, our unbelieving spouses, our unbelieving children, Lord, nephews, nieces, O oh God, parents, siblings, Father in heaven, relatives, uncles, and aunts, O oh Lord. We pray, Father in heaven, O oh Lord, na gamitin niyo po kami, Panginoon, sa patuloy na Lord, na pagpananalangin para sa kanila at, gam at gamitin niyo po ang inyong salita upang sila po, Lord, ay ma-open sa inyong salita. We also thank you, Lord, for our sister church, Living Word Cebu. Father God, we commit them to you, Lord. We pray for your strength upon them. We pray for your strength upon Brother Mel, upon Sister Marie, Lord God, upon their whole eldership, O God. We pray for your strength upon the whole congregation, Father in heaven, that you will keep them in your love, that the flock, Lord, will stay united, O God, that you will indeed, O Lord, uphold each one. We know, Lord God, na kayo po, Panginoon, ang siyang mag, Lord, mag-fulfill ng purpose at plan niyo po, Panginoon, for living words, Cebu. And we know, Father in heaven, that, Lord, there is something that you have in store, O Lord, for all of them. Thank you, Father God. Lord, thank you that in our discouragements, in our despair, O oh Lord, O oh God, we also find the depth of your love and your comfort, O oh God, trusting always, Lord, in your wisdom, that your ways are always higher than our ways and your thoughts are higher than our thoughts, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. And lastly, brothers and sisters, let's continue to pray for our country. Lalong lalo na po, panalangin natin ang mga ang church at ang lost. Father God, we pray for our country. We pray, Lord God, for the church here in the Philippines, Father in heaven. Lord Jesus, we pray, Father God, that Lord, you will indeed strengthen, Lord, your church, your body. Nagpapasalamat po kami. Alam namin, Panginoon, that you are at work. And we just continue to pray, Lord, for your guidance, Lord, 
we pray, Lord God, for your wisdom, Father in heaven, upon all your people, upon all your shepherds, Lord, sa church po ninyo sa bad, sa Philippines, sa body of Christ. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, that in these perilous times, you will help us, O Lord, to, Lord, behave in wisdom towards outsiders, as the word would say. Father God, dalangin namin, Lord, ang effectiveness ng church sa mga panahong ito, Panginoon, to be salt and light, O Lord God, and to not be swayed, O Lord God, by, Lord, by the politics, Father in heaven, O Lord, uh, during these times, Lord, but instead help us, Father God, to remain, O Lord, steadfast in our commitment, O Lord, O God, to the advancement, O Lord God, of the gospel, O Lord. And we pray, Father in heaven, that we will not be moved, Father in heaven, and you will help us, Lord, not to stumble, O Lord, during these times, but help us to be filled with wisdom, just like Daniel, so that we may know how to react, O Lord, to respond, Lord, with discretion, with discernment, Lord, with wisdom and tact, O Lord God, during these times. Kapuloy po ninyo, Lord, na palakasin at patibayin ang inyo pong iglesia. Dalangin namin, Lord God, na ang word ninyo, Panginoon, ang patuloy, Lord, na magpatibay po sa amin, Father in heaven. Salamat po. We thank you also, Lord, for the, Lord, for the uh, grace ninyo, Panginoon, that the, Lord, the pandemic is subsiding already and the cases are also subsiding we pray, Lord, again, for those who are severe and critical, that they will, O oh Lord, become, O oh Lord, they, they will be saved and they will hear, O oh Lord, the gospel. Lord, kayo lang po ang makakaabot, Panginoon, sa mga yaon na nasa ospital ngayon. At dalangin namin ang pagpapagaling niyo po sa kanila at ang kanila pong salvation, O oh Lord. Father God, we pray for the elections of the country this year, Lord. Father in heaven, we continue to pray, O Lord. Father in heaven, for your sovereignty. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, O God, na panghahawakan niyo po, Lord, ang lahat-lahat ng mga, Lord, mga nangyayari. You are in, may you always be in con full control of the situation, Father God, the political situation of the Philippines. We entrust and surrender this to you, Lord God. As the word would say, Lord, as Daniel chapter 2 would say, Lord Jesus, Father in heaven, the epochs and the times are always in your hands. Lord, you establish kings and you also remove kings, O God. Father in heaven, we continue, Lord, to trust and hope in your power, O Lord, that you will give our country, Lord, Father God, a better, Lord, a better future, lalong-lalo na po sa aming pong next generation, Panginoon. Patuloy namin dinadalangin, Panginoon, O God, that you will favor our country with a good government, Lord, with good leaders. Lord, you are the one who knows the hearts of each one and we pray, Lord, na Panginoon, maawa po kayo sa bansa namin. We pray that it will be an honest elections, Lord God. Salamat po, Panginoon, all glory and praises to your name and this is our hope, O God, that you are indeed, O Lord, mighty to save. Hallelujah. Salamat po, Panginoon. We give you thanks and praises, Lord. Salamat po sa gabi pong ito. We thank you, Lord, for all our brethren who joined us tonight. And even those, Lord, who will be joining us, Lord, after this. Nagpapasalamat po kami, Panginoon, sa inyo pong faithfulness. We thank you. We praise you, Father God. We know, Lord, we expect great things from you, Lord. You are able to do far more abundantly beyond all that we ask or ever dreamt of. Thank you, Father in heaven. To you belong all power. To you belong all glory, worship, dominion, authority, Lord, now and forevermore. In the sweetest name of Jesus, this is our prayer. Amen and amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Again, thank you for joining us tonight here at our Midweek Prayer Watch. Sa muli po nating pagsasama next Wednesday, tayo pong lahat ay magsama-samang manalangin at kayo po'y patuloy na ingatan ng Panginoon araw-araw. Salamat pong muli mga kapatid. God bless you po and good night po.